I like how these seem to affect the opposite one. Not sure how that works, but you know, cool. Oh shit. That guy's sneaky. And this is a secret I found out recently. I didn't even know this until I was doing this playthrough. If you shift, that just comes straight down. I normally used to do a really painful jump that I'd miss a lot. And I'm really glad I figured that out because it saved me a bunch of time and a bunch of looking like an idiot. That's pretty awesome. I don't even remember if I dealt with that. This little pack of Slaw, they actually suck. If you get like three of them in there, they can actually hurt you pretty bad. And this, this right here, this is the dick maneuver in my opinion. The other one's pretty bad, this one is effing terrible. I, I want to find the guy and punch him in his nads. Right there. Yeah. F that. Yeah, supreme, supreme dickness right there. I managed to just get this out in time so I get vin invulnerable. But seriously, that's awful. They put a revived vampire right there, which means that if that guy hits you, he starts draining your soul. Not unlike the Wraith. And my soul reaper's gone, and there's no weapons in here, so... Screw this guy. We'll just hit the vent and get the hell out. Another thing that I hated about those guys, you get the soul... You get the reaver back, and then just before you get the... Just when you get the reaver back, they come out of it and smack you. Take off just enough health that you can't use it. Yep, and then the worst part is they somehow decide to get rid of all weapons in certain spots and pretty much you can't do anything. Very nice of them. And worst of the part of all, you can't even blame Dennis Dyack for this one. Yeah, what the hell? You could blame Amy Hennig. I mean... Didn't she, write, did, didn't she just write the script? Yes, but well, she's I a woman. I can't, well, I can't blame, I can't blame her for that. She's, uh, you know... Raziel's not talking. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> and this bell, this is another dick move. Don't hit that bell. Yeah, it's a red herring. Oh, God. These pipes. Like, I hate running along the side of them because Buzzy will look really stupid as he gets stuck along the wall, but it's really the only way to get up. Yeah. Oh, you son of a bitch. Let's see if I get this off. Please tell me I get this off. Oh, that was close. Good, because having those guys alive makes this almost impossible. I didn't speed this up either. So, that's two vents down. Or open. Good thing the reaver gives you that extended range. Yeah, no kidding. Oh lord almighty, are you serious? I think I was hiding on the wall, Metal Gear Solid style. <laughs> ninja style. That vampire just ninja down into a room. It's entirely not funny. Whoever made the Silent Cathedral really just hates everyone who plays this game. You can feel his hatred. Yeah. It's as if he it's as if he made it because he was going he knew he was gonna be fired after. It. Yeah, and he's just like, ha ha ha, dicks, you have to play this. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of enemies that you can't hit, and they take a billion hits to kill, and... Then let's put them in a small-ass hallway, and three of them in a row, and no weapons. Ha 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 ha. And some of them can drain your health. Why am I playing this game? Oh, that's right, because it's really, really good. But the rest of it is fun. <laughs> And when you're, getting, when you're not stuck behind a pipe. Yeah, I was gonna say here I get stuck behind a pipe for a while. 
and I don't figure out there's a very obvious way out of this pipe. Yep. <laughs> you kind of you kind of look like a, a, a fly buzzing up against the window. Oh, you little bastards. Okay, now we're back where we should have been the whole time. Don't fall again. Dude, these pipes are ridiculously easy to fall off of. I, they should have had a flat top or oh, something. Know, like, look at that. It's who the hell thought to make both sides angled? Oh, oh, that's right. The guy who hates everybody. And and knew he was going to get fired on the last day of the project. By the way, check this out. I think I'd do a quick little little view of this. Look how dick this is. You barely have anywhere to go. Oh God, here we go. And you and you almost miss yeah. it. Yeah. Which is entirely easy. Surprisingly enough, that rattling of the pipe didn't wake up any of the vampires. Oh wait, I stand corrected. Just say I'm pretty certain they're all awake, anyways. But whatever. Why? Why am I standing here? Oh, because I was making sure that I could actually see. Yeah. Which in this level is completely is, uh, so vital. Okay, so the third one has broken. It's now gone. We're done. All we have to do is make our way back to that room. Oh, you little bastard. Had to get a swipe in. Anyway, we just gotta make our way back to that room and we can continue on with the level. And this is why I did this earlier. Just so I could just leave. Oh god, I get stuck. Move, you asshole! Oh, here, by the way, here I decide to go back on my word and show you what happens if you hit this thing. Yeah, that's right, a whole bunch of fucking vampires happen. And we dramatically fade away. We learn, but we teach by example. I love the pipes in this room when you're in the spectral realm. And thankfully, since I don't have to do the vent thing, I don't even have to go through that trap portal. Screw that noise, we can just walk out. I love that torch there, by the way. There's really no reason for it. Okay, enough of these vampires. I'm just gonna jump around like crazy. Because I don't want to get hit. And we move on. So here's another technique I show here. Uh, if you crouch, you can walk against ledges and you do not fall. This is really good for positioning yourself if you need to do a specific jump like it just did. I never knew that. And here's some more failure. I seriously have no idea where the little, I don't know, latch point, where the ground is even. Tell me, yeah, can you see that? I have no idea. I don't know. I think, I think it's like 50% locked at this point. Yeah, I'm pretty certain when I grab onto it, I seriously do it by accident. There we go. Yeah. Oh, oh hey, there's the ground. Yeah, I'm still lost. Okay, there's the ground. You can, still, you can see Raziel's amazement. You can see leading man's amazement through Raziel's eyes. Just, just like what the, the hell. Turn around Is and go like, what? Oh, I didn't fall. Sweet. Amazing. It's the downside to using this web texture everywhere. The black edges on everything. You just can't see. Yeah. Then you get in here and it's bright as fucking day. Thank God. Use a break from all that depressing web nonsense. Oh well. I hate to break this Kinda to you. Makes me wonder. Oh, well, I know we're going back. <laughs> I'm just saying. I could use the break. <laughs> All right. So down this corridor is the boss of this hellaciously long level. And actually, I love this little intro here because you can see that there's like half a dude just chopped in half who made it up here with a flamethrower. That's 
pretty awesome. Yeah.